Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now Workos is a brand whose flashlights I've looked at in the past, more specifically, I've looked at dive lights and headlamps. But today we have the TD-01 and TD-02, more of the tactical style. EDC law enforcement, both a smaller and larger version of similar lights in a similar lineup. So what we're going to do today, we're going to take a look at both of these in detail. We're going to compare them and contrast them, get a look at the overall features. We're going to get a number of different beam shots and then we'll wrap it up with my final thoughts. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Workos who did provide these for review. Now again, Workos, a company whose lights I've looked at in the past every time, these have been very, very nice. Nicely made, nicely featured, and I would say sort of specialty in a way. When it comes down to it, their dive lights are very, very nice, but again, very specialized. They're heavy duty. They're made a very specific way. They're not necessarily for everybody because they are purpose driven and purpose intended. But again, today, a light that I think would really work for pretty much everybody and then maybe somebody looking for a slightly larger option. And so as we get into this here, again, the TD01, you can see a fairly large form factor right from the box itself. Nicely packaged. And as we get inside here, right away, everything well protected. You end up with your instruction manual. Of course, the flashlight, spare O-rings and a lanyard and your USB type C charging cable. So this will be a USB type C rechargeable flashlight. As we get into this here, again, the TD-01, just gonna unthread the tail cap. Now that's one thing I can say right away from Workos. They've done a nice job with their batteries. They've done a nice job with their construction. Here, a 21700, 3.6 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That translates to 18 watt hours of power. I love the 21700 form factor. I would take the slightly larger uh, 21700 battery over the 18650 every time. I do like the performance. I don't mind the additional girth in the body. And you can see here now everything coming to life. So that's one thing. This is probably gonna share some similarities to, I guess, their dive lights. So as we get into this here, you can see it does have a side switch for the modes and then your tail cap. So the tail cap basically going to be your power on, power off. Side switch, let's see, that's good. That's fully locked out. So as we turn that on, again, this is going to run us through our modes. Quick triple press, that's gonna be your strobe. Quick double press, that's gonna be your turbo. As we long press again, let's see, that's going to beam up. So that's changing the mode to seemingly, yes. So I was able to change the mode. Now that's just low and high as I long press the side switch here. Now I get multiple different modes. So a little bit of programming in this right away. So again, this is the Workos TD-01. Running you through the specs real quick. We'll turn on the light and this is going to be the lowest mode. So again, we're going to basically at this point press through all the different modes and you can see the lowest mode here. That's what they're calling Eco. That's a 30 lumen output, 70 hours of runtime. As I press again, single press, 150 lumens, that's the low mode, 15 hours of runtime. Another press here to medium, 350 lumens, that's nine hours of runtime. And another press here, high, that's 900 lumens, that's a four hour runtime. Quick double press, that's going to be the turbo mode, 2200 lumens, 2.5 hours of runtime. But where things get really fun, it's not about the lumens in this case, it's about the candela. This has a throw of 1,039 meters, or in other words, 270,000 candela. So let me say that again, 
over a thousand meters of throw. And when you really kind of lay it out there and you're like, wow, that's like three fifths of a mile. That's a pretty serious beam. So I'm hoping we'll get a cool chance tonight for some beam shots. Triple press. That's the tactical strobe. Single press. Getting back into those other modes. And as you see here, turning the flashlight off. Now, as we get into the specialty modes again, you have your tactical strobe, a double press that's going to go to the SOS, a double press that's going to go to your beacon, and another double press back to strobe. So once you're in that specialty mode, double press, and that's going to change the mode. So depending on what you're trying to do, you have that option. So a lot of different outputs and variability here in the TD-01. TD-01. Let's see this. This should be fun. There's like little, little minnows. Do you come in and out or do you... What do you mean? You don't let it just sit there? It's a crankbait. It's puppy. There's one right on it. See? That's a... I think that's a little rock bass. Oh baby. Is a fish on your hook? No, just a little one beneath it. See it? Look at it. See the spotlight? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's even good enough to beam all the way out there. Oh. That's in the low mode. That's low. That's awesome. Wait, go put a sign. Yeah, so this is mode one, which mode one, actually, you're barely seeing, but you can see it out there. See that? Yeah. Hold on. And this is mode two. I want to see mode five. Mode two, you're definitely able to see. That's pretty good. Can you do mode five? Mode three. Three is pretty good. That's all the way across. Four. Four. Yeah, that's all the way across. That's oh. turbo. Are we seeing that across the lake? Um, not really, but I mean, definitely there. That's yeah, lighting that stuff right up. Look at that's like crazy good. But now for the TD-02. Again, this is going to be the smaller brother to the TD-01 going to have hopefully some similar overall functionality now of course a much smaller light you can see this again does come with your informational pamphlet a little bit of information here telling me to remove that little bit of plastic on the inside to get the battery started comes with your lanyard comes with your o-rings and comes with your usb type c charging cable as we get the battery out here, this is the Workos 18650, a 3000 milliamp hour battery, 3.7 volt, and of course a smaller form factor than the 21700. As you take a look at this flashlight, obviously a much smaller form factor being the 18650. This is going to be a very pocketable light, melts into your hands, and my initial impression, I really like the knurling on this. It feels really good, and I think that's going to do a couple of things. First off, it's certainly going to give you a nice grip, but second is it's kind of going to act like a heat sink, so this should dissipate heat nicely, which helps to preserve your battery life and, of course, avoid the flashlight heating up. You'll notice it does have essentially uh, the shape of a deep ride pocket clip. Now, obviously, it's not going all the way to the tail cap, but I do like the fact that this is a bezel down carry. Overall, a nice form factor. Again, that 18650 lithium ion battery, it is going to be USB type C rechargeable. As we take a look, the tail cap, very simple. As we press the button all the way in, you'll see it does turn on the light a little half press. I was hoping for a momentary, but it doesn't seem to do that. So you don't end up with that little pressure switch, which I do often like from a tail cap. So not quite getting it there. But in terms of the modes, pressing down the button as we get into the modes here. So a little half press between the modes does change the intensity and ultimately goes through a strobe. So turning on the light, the eco mode, 10 lumens at 150 hours of runtime. Little blip there, you end up on the low mode, 100 lumens, 18 hours of runtime. Medium, 400 lumens, 4 hours of runtime. 
high 1000 lumens, 2.5 hours of runtime, and turbo. Turbo is 2000 lumen overall output, two hours of runtime, and this will go out to about 254 meters. So in other words, 16,075 candela. A quick double press. That's going to be your tactical strobe. Tactical strobe, 2000 lumens. Couple last details. This is IPX8 water resistant rating, and it has a drop rating of roughly one meter. So now back in the studio to wrap up some final thoughts. When it comes down to the TD-01, this is a flashlight that can literally outperform your eye's ability to see. And what I'm saying is when the light beams out that far, you are not able to see the detail required for the quality of the light. And that's not a knock on the light at all. That's just the reality of the incredible beam and the ability for this to literally shine all the way across a lake. If that's the case in the daytime, you wouldn't have been able to see all the detail anyway. So if you coupled this with something like binoculars or a monocular or something like that, a very effective searchlight in the ability to see way off in the distance. I'm not going to say this is a laser beam, but pretty close. The overall functionality, fairly standard. The ability to get between the different modes with ease on the side switch. Plenty of modes and plenty of output all the way from the low mode to a quick double press, getting to that turbo and I can feel the heat just right away, right on my hands. Triple press, which I pretty much for the most part, probably wouldn't do with a flashlight like this, but bottom line is I'm glad that it does have the strobe and I'm glad that it's not in the primary cycle. You have to click into a specialty mode to access it. So the TD-01 is very, very fun. The TD-02, I would say, is fairly standard. Now, I love the form factor. I love the overall construction. The ability to go through the modes with ease with a simple half press, no problem. Nice in terms of the low mode, quick double press, that's going to get that strobe, and then just working between the modes. But I do have to say, overall, this is a fairly standard flashlight. I mean, not a lot of frills, but nor does it need to be. It's a standard tactical style flashlight, good for EDC, quality batteries with Workos from what I can tell so far. I've again tested a few of their flashlights and their battery performance has been great. So no problem there. The fact that it's the USB type C rechargeable is nice and just a real clean look. So again, the TD-02, 
very nice. And so whether you want that big boy thrower or a little more pocket friendly, either way you go, pretty cool. I do like the TD-01. I wish it had a cradle. I think that would go a long way. It does leave this just a little bit lacking where I have no real effective way to carry this right now. Uh, not a huge deal, but you know, I look inside the box and I'm like, ah, if this just had a nice cradle or at least a reasonable sort of sheath style pouch, that would work out pretty well. The TD-02, again, just slip it in your pocket. Nice pocket clip, fairly standard. So again, nicely done from Workos. Couple of great options here. And so, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for following along. If you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel's growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.